slight disappointment. Uh, it's only been about 800 miles since, uh, or uh, less than 800, 700, about 743 since my last 100% charge. Today, the car will not charge over 96%, even though it's set to 100. It stopped at 272 miles. I added 234 to the battery. I needed a 100% charge today. Uh, so uh, this is over a 20, it's a 22 mile loss in range uh, since purchasing this vehicle. So in 17,743 miles, I now have a 22 mile loss. While the drop was considerable between um, in the last 740 something miles, um, it doesn't make too much sense. I mean, that's that's not too many miles, and it's been only about a week and a half. So, just the fact that it dropped that much, and that's a, another problem with firmware eight. Here is every time I open and close the damn car doors, <laughs> the radio turns itself on, whether or not the car's locked. But the only major difference is God dang, I hate that. The only major difference is I is firmware eight between uh, this 100% charge and the pre. No, I didn't. I was on 8 the last 100% charge. Um, or was I? I can't remember. I think I was... Um, I think I was on firmware 8 on the last 100% charge, but not the one before that. I'll have to go back and review my videos. I can't remember. A lot's happened in the last week and a half. Um, but still, uh, that is a absolute huge drop in range whether or not my pack is unbalanced or not or there's other issues underlying with my battery um, I'm not one to call Tesla service on range loss because I'm a proponent of doing a hundred percent charges to balance out your pack however that drop coupled with uh, the car not wanting to go over 96 percent I mean it stopped charging at 96 percent saying charging complete you know, battery's full. Uh, makes really little to no sense whatsoever. So I'm going to see what I can dig up and uh, check back with you guys.